A lot of patients come into the office and they don't know the difference between Botox and fillers. Some of them have a, let's say, a crease in the nasal labial folds and they ask me, can I put some Botox in there? Well, let's clarify that. Uh, Botox, or there's two different kind of things that we use for facial rejuvenation. Neurotoxins and then fillers. The neurotoxins basically are chemicals like Botox, Dysport, or Zeomin. And these neurotoxins basically paralyze or relax the muscle in the face. And it's from face up, that's where the neurotoxins usually go. There's three areas. The most common areas that we use are what we call the frown line, which is the glabella, the frontalis, which is the forehead, and then the crow's feet, which is on the side of the eyes. And these are the three most common areas. Obviously, you can put Botox in any other areas, and it, it has been used for other migraine headaches, occipital headaches, and, and other areas as well. But cosmetically, these are the three areas, the most common areas that we use them. Sometimes we also use them in the lips for people that have uh, righteds or have wrinkles above the lips. Fillers, on the other hand, fills area or wrinkles that are called static wrinkles versus the dynamic wrinkles that we use Botox for. So static wrinkles is any wrinkles that you have when you are not moving your face. Things like nasolabial folds or the marionette lines, the smile lines, or even like some areas here in the chin areas. And sometimes we also fill what we call the temple hollow where this area in the temples get kind of hollowed or you have indentation in there. We can fill that as well. We also build up the cheeks with these fillers and also under the eyes where sometimes you lose that fat band.